Well, the Camber First, Sideview News has learned that up to three quarters of the biggest local authorities in, in England could go bankrupt because of the surging costs of providing care for children with special educational needs. The current nationwide deficit is £4 billion, and that's set to double in two years' time. Now, until now, councils have been allowed to effectively keep these costs off the books so they don't show on authorities' balance sheets. But that exemption is set to expire next March, and many say the situation is quite simply unmanageable. Stuck in the middle, of course, of families who often have to go to extraordinary lengths to make sure their children get the care and support they need. Well, today the government has admitted this is a moral issue. Our deputy political editor, Anushka Astana, has this special report. Take to get some water. The forest school in Knaresborough is full, and the head says any state special school will tell you the same. There is no space, and financially, things are tight. Over the years, we've had rising costs, and we haven't had an increase in funding, and that can make it really difficult to balance the books. And so for schools like this one, classes that did have six to eight pupils now have 12 to 14. We have to make difficult choices from time to time about what provision we can and cannot meet. And that then means that more and more children are having a more watered-down version of the school that they may well have had historically. Across England, a national crisis in special needs funding is now pitting parents against the councils who fund these places. Stephen was told that the local mainstream school could not meet the needs of his autistic twin sons, but still he had to fight. Only through repeatedly challenging them and challenging and challenging, the council relented and sent the paperwork out. But the paperwork for each twin went to a different special school 40 miles apart, and so the battle went on with one son out of school. I had to take weeks off work unpaid, caring for Felix. Eventually we went to a tribunal, um, no small thing, but still has a huge cost as well. Thousands of pounds, but an emotional impact too. Felix was walking down here with his brother every day. We take taking Magnus in, then we have to go home with Felix again. One day he wandered off into the reception, went to the reception staff, when can I start here, please? Eventually, Felix joined his brother. But all over the country, councils say they are at breaking point. The number of children with special needs has risen by more than half a million in 10 years to over 1.7 million. Almost a third have an education, health and care plan that brings extra support. Many more are being placed in special schools, but it is expensive. A state placement costs £25,000, an independent placement £58,500 a year, and that compares to £8,200 in a mainstream school. And today we can reveal that English councils are now sitting on send deficits of £4 billion nationwide that will hit £5.9 billion next year. Councils are being allowed to use an accounting fudge called statutory override that keeps this off the books, but only until 2026. Now, half of this year's deficit is being held by 38 large rural councils, part of the county councils network, of which 18 say they will go bankrupt overnight if it isn't fixed. I mean, councils are under a huge strain as it is. There are many councils that are really struggling to stay solvent right now. This is an additional worry none of us need, but for any strategic top-tier authority where you, you're seeing the deficit increasing, and it's, it's going to probably double in the course of two years based on current projections, which shows how serious the problem is, um, that, that will break councils. It will do. Government needs to step back in and reform the system. And today, a hint from Westminster that something is coming. It's a really important... Uh, moral issue for the government. We've got to ensure that its funding is on a stable footing uh, and I know that the Education Secretary and the Chancellor and the Deputy Prime Minister are looking at this issue and that the Chancellor is going to be setting out further details in the budget. But sources say this can't be fixed quickly and meanwhile many continue to struggle. Wayne and Vicky felt the system dehumanised their daughter. It makes me feel angry because in, in the end of the day, it's my daughter, and it's her daughter's life, and it's her, her own education, and I just kind of made her a number instead of a person. Lexi was premature with an educational delay. Finding her the right school place felt like an epic fight. 
one thing you have to do is keep fighting it because they'll just chuck you anywhere into mainstream yeah, school just and, and you'll be gone. Keep going. You've got to keep going and going and going. It's hard. I mean, we did the amount of number of complaints, yeah. emails, complaints we made, and not even one response. All sides seem to agree on one thing, that a broken system is failing the children at the heart of it. I mean, it's desperate, isn't it, for the families involved. So what can be done about this? Well, speaking to sources inside government, it is clear that they recognise how bad this is right now. People said things like disaster, crisis, perfect storm to me today. Because of the funding pressures on both schools and on councils, we've got this vicious circle where a parent can't get the you know, provision they need in a mainstream school, so they fight to get their kid into a private or a state special school. The council pushes back because it doesn't have money. So what is the solution? Well, I think there is an acceptance that part of it is extra money, and I do think we can expect something in the budget on this. But beyond that, it is clear that people think there needs to be a massive reform. And talking to sources, the Education Secretary, Bridget Phillipson, is particularly focused on what needs to change in mainstream schools in order to make them more inclusive for children with special educational needs. OK.